Oh, that's such a cool title screen. Alrighty, what's going on YouTube? I am Rukari, and I will be the first to admit that I should probably not be starting this series, but... But I want it! It's so adorably cursed, so this is, if no one has heard of it before, Cult of the Lamb. Um, they recently released some fun new content. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one who waits for you. The attack official beasts take heed, but a crowd cannot sit upon two brows. That was a menacing little intro. Um, I, I, there's been some new content that was released. I saw it at PAX East. This is, you know, it's a cult. I believe I am a sacrifice to this cult. Oh, that's not nice. Can I talk to this dude over here in the corner? Oh, no. Don't let me over here. That's mean. Anyways, it's it's a cult to a lamb, and we're gonna go be sacrificed now, I guess. Not much to be done. Game by massive mods. It's very pretty for how cursed it is. Oh, look at those eldritch abominations there. Yep, just gotta kneel to be sacrificed. Before us stands the last of its kind, all others we have hunted down and put to the blade. With this final sacrifice, the prophecy will be impossible to fulfill. <laughs> that heretic who lies bound below will be condemned to eternal captivity. The old faith shall be preserved. So, uh, all of the lambs are being sacrificed, so the cult of the lamb cannot come to fruition. Oh! What's this? Looks like we've been spared a brutal sacrifice? In order, I'm guessing, to... to... summon the cult of the lamb? Are you the evil that I'm supposed to unbind? Hi. Nice hat. Look closer, fear not, for though you are already dead, I still have need of you. Those foolish bishops thought they could keep you from me in death, but instead they sent you straight to me. I will give you life again at a price. All I ask is for you to start a cult in my name. Do we have a deal? My options are yes or absolutely. There is no in-between, apparently. Um, um, absolutely sure. You are goat father. I've made a deal with a devil that cannot be undone. This is gonna end so well for me, I'm sure. That's not a cursed crown or anything. Great! I'm alive! I have powers! Am I actually gonna- oh, I'm gonna fight y'all! I can dodge roll and I can slash my sword. Yeah, how dare you try and sacrifice me! Now you will be the sacrifice! Ooh, rolling along. Rolling around at the speed of sound. I refuse to be the sacrifice. I will instead start my own cult! Along whatever this path means, I don't really know. I'm sure it's all gonna be fine, right? What could possibly go wrong? Oh, this is cute! Fear not, I am Ratau. I was once a chosen vessel like you, but those days are lost to the winds. I was sent to guide you. We are deep in the lands of the old faith and in grave danger. My instructions are to lead you to safety. 
Continue through the woods. Escape lies ahead. I will be close by. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Ratman. It's a cute little camp. Should I... Can I find anything in here? Or is that not necessary? Okay, well, you know what? I got a treasure chest with money in it. I got inventory. I have one coin, a currency used for all manner of things. Great. Let me destroy your skeletons. Ooh, okay, so there are multiple branching paths. That's interesting. Oh, cultist. No, I will destroy you all. I will not be defeated by cultists falling from the sky, nor will I be defeated by weird bug monsters. I will take your money, though, and destroy everything. Okay. I'm curious then, do I- if I go back, do I run- do I encounter- do I encounter anything, or is it just- Okay, I can just- I can just go back, I can travel all around the world. Oh, we got little bat monsters. Like, now it tells me to dodge to avoid damage. Oh, I press B to avoid damage when I get hit. Okay, interesting, interesting. I have absolutely no idea if you find anything for cutting everything down. I just feel compelled to do so as part of my ADHD. Okay, okay. Was, was the X walls always there, or is that something specific that happens? I have to actually watch for that now. Do you get locked into combat every time? Well, this doesn't help. This is just me getting coins in a cute little pool of water. So it's like part roguelike, part cult simulator, I guess? Is that the best descriptor for it? I don't know. Oh, we've got a sacrifice! We have nearly reached safety, but look ahead, another poor soul about to be sacrificed. Rescue them, and they would have no choice but to join your new cult. Almighty bishops of the old faith, we ask you to accept the sacrifice of this wretched soul. Hey, who interrupts our ritual and trespasses on sacred ground? I do. I can also try not to kill the sacrifice, I feel like. Oh, of course you summon more. I will kill all of you! And I will save this cute little cow! I will rescue you. You are my friend now. That... That's how I rescue her. Follower awaits indoctrination. Did I do good? That doesn't sound good, but I guess in the terms of what I'm doing, it's good. Guess we'll go indoctrinate someone now. We have reached safety. You have done well. The red crown will allow you to use those markings on the ground to transport yourself great distances. It will take you to a temple that has fallen to ruin. There you will be able to begin your new cult. I will meet you there. Cool. I'm just an innocent little goat that's definitely not about to start a cult of sacrifices to a goat demon below. I have defeated many heretics and cleansed non-believers. Cool. Only took me four and a half minutes. So I gotta count for something, right? Please select a difficulty. Don't worry, you can change the difficulty at any time in the settings menu. Let's see, I don't want casual experience. This is a well-rounded experience. Recommended for experienced players, recommended for players with a death wish. I do not have a death wish, but I do like a challenge. You know what, I'm gonna stick with the developer recommended medium. Just so that way it works well for, for, you know, for video. This hallowed ground which once was mine is now yours. 
this crumbling ruin is to be the site of your new cult, we have much to do. We begin by indoctrinating. We begin by indoctrinating this poor soul into the warm embrace of your cult. Followers can gather resources for you. Order this one to collect lumber or stone. Cool. They look a little bit traumatized, so we'll see how that goes. Oh, what is chess? Can I get it? I got little birdies and berry bushes and... Oh, this looks so cute and unassuming and not at all cursed. Hey there, little buddy. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. I got my first follower. Your name is... Uh... Brennanon. Nice to meet you, Brennanon. You're supposed to be a cow. I mean, I don't want to change things around too much. Let's just, we'll stick with the cow for now. And you can be an adorable little magenta cow with a nose ring. Yeah. You're against sacrifice, so you lose faith with a follower sacrificed, but you are materialistic, so you prefer better sleeping quarters, and you're naturally obedient. I'm gonna assume I can't change those traits, but I appreciate the natural obedience. Welcome to the cult! Um, you should go collect stone. Hi, Ratu. By your hand, our cult will grow powerful. But your followers cannot live on prayer alone. They must eat. Gather the necessary resources and build a cooking fire. It will allow you to prepare meals for your followers. Okay, well, you're collecting stone. Can I collect lumber? Oh, I can, I can go to work with you too. Just chopping down trees with my cult. Look at all that wood. Yeah, we'll chop some logs. We'll mine some stone, and together, I'm gonna do most of this work, honestly. You are going to not even finish that first rock by the time I'm ready to build the fire pit, are you? It's fine. It's okay. I'm here to be your new cult parent. Oh, oh, did you get one? Or did you just run an off loss? Are you okay? I got one stone. Great, thanks. I'm gonna go build a cooking fire now so I can feed you so you don't starve and run away. Because it's not sacrifice if you starve to death. Alrighty, where do I want a cooking fire? Near the entrance, you know. It's warm, it's welcoming. People love seeing a nice warm meal being cooked. And now I just get to build it. Look at that! Your followers need to eat, and it's up to you to provide meals for them. The hunger of your cult can be seen on the top left of the screen. When this gets too low, followers will begin to starve. Find more food while crusading. Pick routes that pass through foraging locations. So my little berries and vegetables. Plant farms to grow your own food. The seeds can be purchased or found while whilst crusading. We're calling it specifically crusading. For now, I'm going to pick some berries, though. Berries count as food, right? I think so. And we even got some berry bush seeds, which means in the future I can plant berry bushes. But for now, I can make but a basic berry bowl. I mean, we're not hungry yet, though, so I'm not sure if I need to worry about that yet. Don't really have anything else I can do either. But, I mean, okay, I have to cook a meal to, to fulfill requirements, so... I play a cooking minigame. Now we must build a shrine, but first we will need more followers and more gold, both of which can be found when crusading through the lands of the old faith. Our mutual benefactor, the one who waits, has been trapped by the four bishops of the old faith. Each of them guards a chain that binds him to the realm beyond. We have conjured openings to their realms. It is your task to track them down and slay them so that he may be freed. Now go! 
There you shall find gold and willing recruits, and for those who are not willing, convert them by force. Oh, okay. By force? Got it. Not necessarily the way I wanted to run my cult, but okay. Um, gotta pick some berries. Yeah, pick some berries really quick. You'll, you'll be fine while I'm gone, right, little buddy? I'm gonna trust that you'll be fine, and I guess I'm gonna go into the, the into the unknown to, to guess to the green one. It seems to be suggesting I need to go to the green one. Great, we'll go to the dark wood. I can open this door with one follower. Oh! Okay, I guess... Are you, like, blood-sacrificing to unlock the lock? Thanks, Brennanon! You disappear into the, into the ground once more. Off we go to the dark wood, I guess. Nothing doing here. Just summoning. I have three whole hearts. In the dark wood. And one crusader's blade. I wonder if I can upgrade my little sword and weapons. Well, for now I can read this. <laughs> Entering the lands of the Bishop Leshy, those who do not follow the ways of the old faith will be destroyed. Interesting that it's the Bishop Leshy, because if any of you are familiar with, um, there's another game called Inscription, and there's a very important bad guy in there that goes by the name Leshy. I don't know if that's supposed to be related or not, but I know it's 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 fun lore. Oh, why is one of my hearts have eyeballs? Is that important? I got some gold. Gold is good, right? Oh, die, die, all of you! I've played Dark Souls. I know how to do this. How my hat just sort of flies around with me. Oh, you hit me! How dare you! That's not allowed. You can't just hit me. Oh! This is interesting. It's like a fortune teller. Praise the Lamb, conduit to great power, promised liberator of the one that waits below. So the card showed me once, many lifetimes ago. Or has that yet to be? I have always drawn your cards, Lamb. And yet, this is the first. Take these cards, and I will draw another each time we meet. When drawn by me, they will grant you power. Okay. So I can either have an extra... The hearts, I gain an extra heart. Or I gain an extra... Okay, so Binding of Isaac, you either have extra life hearts or extra soul hearts. I think I will take an extra half a heart that can be healed. Your deck decides your fate. You may find more upon your crusades, and I will draw from them. Look upon it now. So these are like the different tarot cards I've unlocked that I could possibly draw from. I have a surprising amount already. Okay. Interesting. Get from below. 10% can't gain solo or when killing. Increase chance to spawn better chests. I uh, went down to half a heart. All enemies will be dealt two damage. Receive double the health when healing. Consume 25% less fervor. When attacked, 10% chance of negating damage. Overall weapon damage increases by 1.2 times. Enemies will drop two times more fervor. Attack rate will increase by 1.25%. Deals poison damage to enemies struck. Uh, damages everything on screen when hit. Reveal the map. 10% chance to deal a critical hit. Plus one soul heart. Gain an extra half heart. Okay. Your cards have been drawn. The path lays ahead. Interesting. Okay, so interesting. This has got a little bit of a binding of isaac -y mechanic to it. Um, if you ever want me to play that game, I am not good at it, but I will attempt, but... So we've got, like, essentially each run has 
different chances for different things to appear. Um, as you adventure, you get better items, you get upgrades, um, you get better cards you can draw. Oh, that's interesting in the background. So, okay, I, that's, that gives me a little bit of an understanding of how this works. Ow, ow, I didn't mean to get hit. A lot of people have very, like, specific builds that they go for in, bind in like, Binding of Isaac and stuff, games like that. I know Binding of Isaac is technically a roguelike game, but like, a roguelite, but it, it almost makes me feel like it's, its popularity alone has made it its own like genre of games. Like this is a Binding of Isaac-like game to me, even though I know it's technically a roguelike because of the way it's doing the systems of health and stuff. We, nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I adore stuff like this. I got a farm plot sign. Organize your farm with this handy signpost. Darkwood. Cool. I got a sign. It's a sign of things to come. Meh. Okay, I, I think we're gonna go save us. Oh no, this is where. Okay, this is where the path decision comes in. So we can either go for resources, I think, or food. Which I guess food. Need more stuff to make more crops. Just picking berries. Okay. I don't want us to make you stand here and wait, so I'm just gonna pick all the berries. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, berries collected. Mission continuing. Oh, that was it. I would have just stood and talked if I knew there wasn't more. Alrighty. This must be something exciting, right? Oh wait, I actually get brass. Oh shit, now I need to chop everything down. I, want, I need all the stuff. I didn't know it would give materials. Wait, can I go back? I want to chop everything down. No. Okay, fine. Onwards, I guess. Kill more bat monsters. Need to find another follower. I'm guessing those wee things are traps. That makes the most sense. Step on him and explode or something. Do I get all manner of materials? Like, does destroying things give me raw? Wood? I I'm genuinely curious. I want to know how much destruction is um, useful versus, you know, just haphazard wanton destruction. Not to say that will stop me in any means, just that, you know. Oh. Um. Um? Oh no! I made Leshy angry. How can this be? You were plucked the blade, lamb, as all your kind were, and yet here you stand before me unrepentant. The crown, his power, could it be? But I am stronger still. Turn tail and run, little lamb. Um, no. That was very rude of you. I am not going to turn tail and run. I am going to start a cult. And I'm going to kill all your cultists who sacrifice me in the process. We're going to call that payback. Haha. -ha. Take that, you little shit. I can do something you can't, and that's dodge roll. Give me all your grass. Destroy everything in my path. Okay. Uh, let's go this way. Oh, hey, card person. I can feel fate's hands on the cards this night. Cool. Give you a tarot card. Tell me, Lamb, do you believe in destiny? I do. Um, let's do gift from below. 10% chance of a soul heart when killing an enemy. That sounds good. Fates have spoken, but who will listen? I don't know, but I'm gonna take your grass. I got 20 grass. All the grass for me. Alrighty, so... You are summoning something. One can only assume. Oh yeah, that's you summoning Leshy. You have come far enough, little lamb. 
My followers are willing to do anything for me. Can you say the same of yours? I give myself to the cause, almighty leader. By the blood of the great ones, destroy the red crown. Okay. As you melt into the floor and become a ugly ass monster. I'm Amadeusius? Asmodeus? Okay. Oh, you are definitely themed after a boss in Binding of Isaac. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the slug. There's like the slug guy who, um. who spawns all the babies. I'll throw a picture up on the screen and maybe the name if I can remember too. Only instead of tears, I'm melee fighting you. Let me get rid of your child. Oh, you just keep spawning babies. That's rude. Oh, I do not have a ton of hearts. Honestly, this is- Aww. Poor guy. You look cute and sad. Why don't you come be my friend? I'm um, Deucius. Please spare me. Convert me to your cult. I will follow your teachings faithfully. Yeah, sure, come with me. We did just try to kill each other and all, but... I don't mind indoctrinating another fall. Oh! I misclicked. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't realize there were pedestal options. I was actually going over to try and chop the grass. Well, I guess we'll never know what the other options were. At least not until next time. Creepy door. What does that mean? It's locked. I guess I have to complete it so many times. For now, I'm just gonna return to my cult. Not entirely sure what happened, but I had I defeated some heretics. I got food, I got meat, I got seeds. And I got a follower. That means I'm doing what I'm supposed to, right? Yeah. And we're back here in our cute, happy little cult. Alrighty, so that is episode one of our- Nope, he- Ratchet, he's gonna talk to me, never mind, that is not the end of the episode. I am relieved to see you made it safely, and you have not returned alone. You have convinced and more faithful to join our faithful flock. Is it bad up? Let us indoctrinate this new convert so that we may continue. Okay, fine, I'll indoctrinate this little guy. Apparently my other friend has been hard at work in stone. Please spare me. Um, you, your name can stay Amadeusius. Uh, I don't really want to change anyone's forms, although I will give you fun new colors. You can be blue. Yeah. Um, you are slothful, so your work and devotion generation speed are reduced by 10%, and you're 15% harder to level up because you're cynical. Understandable, you were basically sent to be killed, but we'll... We'll figure stuff out for you. Um, you can chop trees, since my other guy is currently working on wood. Followers will either work or worship. Worshipping followers generate devotion for you to collect. But to collect devotion, you require a shrine. Okay. You want me to make a shrine? I get it. I will 100% do that in the next episode. Because you interrupted me, Ratu, and that's a punishable by death. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this little series. I definitely want to play more of this. It is adorable. I'm adorable. And it's definitely not going to end badly for everyone present currently. Right, Brennan? On? Cool. Yeah, everything's good, Brennan on. <laughs> I'm gonna call this episode here, and I will see you all in the next one! Goodbye!